Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to the last double scenario of the Edge of the Earth campaign, and this is the Heart of Madness scenario, part one. Uh, you are given a choice at the start of this scenario to either investigate some runes uh, or skip those. And uh, depending on your choice, you get to play either part one first or skip it and just go straight to part two. But of course, because this is my initial playthrough of the campaign, I want to play all of the scenarios that I can. So I decided to go to the part one and figure out what these rooms here are to maybe seal the entrance to the rest of the city of the Elder Things something like that. Uh, there is a big map for this scenario. Uh, this is how the setup for the scenario should look like. So we start here in the middle. There is the first sphere of five locations, then there's the second sphere of five locations, and the last sphere of uh, five locations. The locations are connected as shown on this map, but it's a bit hard because my Play area is uh, quite limited, so I had to scooch the map in uh, as it is laid o over here. So uh, we are still have the connections like this, so uh, from here I'm able to move to these five locations. From there uh, it gets a bit tricky, but I try to play it correctly and uh, go to correct locations. But if I make mistakes, <laughs> that happens. and. Uh, uh, I stick to that. Then uh, we also uh, had an interlude after the uh, City of the Elder Things scenario uh, that resulted that we uh, scouted uh, the Forge Passage, which resulted that I have I have the ability after this setup to look at two of these ancient facility locations uh, or uh, flip them over, uh, any of those. So uh, that helps me to maybe figure out where sh I should go on this big map. Then uh, I also received three extra resources and one extra experience. So I have eight resources to start this scenario with. Uh, then uh, we also had to do a, a interlude before the setup. So uh, yeah, that resulted that we can look at the two locations. Then uh, we also have to add this one frost token to the back. So we have five frost tokens in the back. And uh, that is it. Then um, we have these uh, runes here set aside. They are not in play yet. They will come into play uh, once the game progresses. And we probably have to get them to activate that side up. So when they're lit up like this, they are activated, and like this, they are unactivated. Uh, I only have one experience after the Fatal Mirage scenario, so I decided not to upgrade my deck in any way for this uh, scenario. If I get a bunch of experience from this, then I will upgrade my deck prob probably before the part two which will be the last scenario, but we'll see how that goes. Um, as I mentioned in my last scenario, uh, in the Petal Mirage playthrough, I have been playing the assets wrong, so I had the uh, named asset, uh, item asset or whatever, in play uh, with the uh, ally asset. So I will be playing this uh, correctly on those parts. The other big mistake during this campaign is that I have been playing the Force Learning wrong. So if I pull uh, two cards at the end of the round, if I reveal a weakness, I have to resolve the weakness and discard the other one. And uh, if I get two weaknesses, I have to resolve both of them. I can't then discard anything, but uh, that is how it should be played to my understanding. And I will be playing this uh, the rest of the campaign correctly on that part too. So, um, the final thing I wanted to mention is that 
um, contrary to the other scenarios of this campaign playthrough, I will be going in this uh, scenario blind. So I haven't been, I haven't played this uh, before filming this. So uh, if I make <laughs> horrendous mistakes, then uh, just uh, give me a comment in the comment section of this video, and uh, I will be playing them correctly in the future. But uh, as a blind playthrough, I wanted to have the last two scenarios being bl blind to get the first play experience more um, wholeheartedly for these two last videos. So uh, that is all I wanted to say before we start, so let's get started. Okay, and uh, let's look first what our objective. So uh, Agenda 1A, the beating heart, forced with two or more and activated seals are controlled by an investigator at the same location that uh, the latent energy store with the seal uses together and the ensuing chain reaction sets off an electrostatic demonstration that destroy all life on Earth. So uh, resolution 3, so we probably don't want that to happen. And it's the same on all of them. So um, what that means when we find an a seal and activate it, we need to go back here and uh, drop it down on this location. So there are two uh, effects here. So place an activated seal to control on the gate of Yukua, and there is a resign action also. So we probably want to find a seal, activate it somehow and bring it back here, then continue if possible. And uh, we don't have to find all of them, we can resign before that, so we try to do our best and go to the part 2 after that. Then, uh, objective, if an activated seal is placed on the gate of Ukwa, advance. So when we get the first activated seal here, we advance. So that is our goal, to get those activated on location. So, uh, let's start. Uh, I have pre shuffled deck, so let's do our opening hand. And uh, we get one weakness, so we draw that. We get the Eon chart, uh, Gene, Borg Guard, Obfuscation, Sled Dog, Nimble, Will, uh, Mulligan, those three. I'm really hoping to get uh, Gene, Borg Guard into play because I haven't uh, played her before. So, three more cards, so we get Scout Ahead. Breaking and entering, and hiking boots. So, a little help to moving and uh, investigating, which sounds nice. And we'll just shuffle the mulligan cards back into the deck and start playing. So, I think the first turn will be uh, play some assets and investigate. The shroud here is one, so we probably will snatch this clue easily. I have no idea. What we do with the clues, probably they come into play when we need to activate the runes or get the runes or the seals. But we'll see. As I said, I haven't played this before. So, first action, two resources. We'll play the Eon chart. That is a really powerful uh, card. And we want to get it into play as fast as possible. Second action, we'll play Jinber card. I will be saying the name Jean from now on because the uh, last name is a bit hard for me to pronounce. So uh, let's look at Jean. So we get plus one intellect and plus one agility, which is really nice for uh, Monterey Jack. During your turn, after you move to a location, exhaust Jean, move a clue or a non elite enemy from a connecting location to a location, or vice versa. So we can get. Uh, Move ahead and get close to easier locations. We only have one resource left, so I think uh, we won't be playing anything else and we'll uh, just investigate. Uh, we are investigating 5 versus 1, so this should be an easy grab. And uh, I'm uh, thinking, should I use 
Eon chart. I'm saving it for now. So, uh, first pull is an elder thing, is a minus four. If you fail, by three or more. Well, we don't, so we succeed. We'll grab this clue uh, with an even number, and that is that. So, no enemies will go to upkeep. We didn't move, or, so we don't get Monterey Jack's ability. So, we draw two cards with the forced learning. And I'll pick shortcut because I think we won't have time or resources to play the death card. And then we gain one resource. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. Uh, the threshold is five. First encounter card is uh, root of the earth. Hazard. Revelation test. Agility two. This test test gets plus one difficulty for each location away from the gate of the guy you are. If you fail, take two damage. Oh, and of course I forgot to look at the revealed side, so I'll do that now before I look at that. So. Uh, just so that I won't forget this, I'll put it here. So I think I'm just checking this one. So it's a vaulted corridor, three shroud, one clue, fast trigger ability, choose another vaulted corridor and test agility X, X number of locations away the vaulted corridor is from this one. If you see it move there, you need once per round. And uh, hmm, let's check this one. And it is a uh, Forsaken Temple, it's a 3 location, one clue. If you control the uh, that seal, uh, test uh, Intellect 3, if you succeed, investigate the Forsaken Temple, send one clue per investigator's group to activate the seal, then look at the revealed side of its unrevealed location on the same spoke as Forsaken Temple. So, um, spokes are like these, straight lines, and then there are spheres. So if we would uh, reveal that, we could get to in the look at the revealed side of all of those. But yeah, that is that. So okay, now we come back to the middle space. So we resolve the root of the earth. So I'm testing um, six versus two, and we'll get cross token. And a zero, so minus one total, so we pass. Nothing bad happens, and that is the middle space. We go to the investigation phase. First action will play the hiking boot. Then I'll use the Eon chart to uh, do a move and investigate. And uh, uh, I'm not feeling going there, I just want to uh, reveal more locations, so we'll head here and investigate. So it's the all of the Sunless Sea, three shroud, one clue. If you control a seal, investigators at all of the Sunless Sea spend one clues and discard two cards, spend investigator from their hand as a clue to activate the seal. Okay, we still need to find that seal, but we'll snatch this clue either way. So, investigating five versus three. This is minus two, so we'll grab this clue, and as we got the last clue of this location, we'll uh, trigger the hiking boot, and I'll move uh, on this here, so I'll move here, so we can move there, and it is the library, of course, it is a five shroud location with one clue, if you control a seal test intellect tree, if you succeed investigator as the library, of course, spend one clue as a group to activate Seal, the seal, then look at the revealed side of its unrevealed location, same ring as the library of course, so we get to investigate those. Another clue here, and uh, I think, uh, let's see, we uh, get that clue out of there. So. We'll, oh yeah, this is exhausted. We'll move here and use uh, Gene. So we exhaust Gene, um, move here and grab this clue, bring it here. Last action, we'll investigate uh, five versus one.
head is a frost token. And a minus one, so we still succeed. So minus two together, we'll grab that clue. And that is our whole turn. No enemies, we'll go to upkeep. We ready cards. We, uh, we started uh, at the same location, so Monterey Jack doesn't trigger. So we get two cards, and unfortunately we have to resolve the Tekka Lily. So this gets discarded. So, lose two resources, uh, place the Kelly on the bottom of the Kelly deck. Uh, fortunately, we don't have any resources to lose, so that just resolves. Then we gain one resource. And that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom, and count card is. Uh, Blasphemous Visions. Shuffle the top card of the Kelly deck into the deck without looking at it, then put Blasphemous Visions in play in the third area. Resolve the effects of each Tekalili weakness and draw as an additional turn. Test intellect. Uh, willpower 3 if you see discard plasma vision. So that is a nasty one for Monterey. Uh, we'll shuffle the top card in the deck. And that is the Mythos space done. And oh boy, those Tekalili cards will be hitting Monterey hard because we probably won't be able to get rid of this. Blasphemous Visions. First action. Uh, we have uh, revealed all these, so we know what's there, so we'll go here. Uh, first action move. And it is the Vaulted Corridor. Uh, three shroud, one clue, choose another Vaulted Corridor, test agility, and uh, etc. Okay. I mm. think we'll. Just keep on moving. So let's move another step upwards. So we find the limestone caverns. Force of the limestone caverns is revealed. Place the dormant uh, forked seal on it. A action investigate the rest limestone caverns. Spend one uh, clue per investigator and three resources as a, and per investigator as a group. Take control of the seal of the lime on the limestone caverns. So it is this one, and uh, we need those clues apparently to get this, so I'm using Gene to pull that clue from here or there, then uh, let's see, uh, hmm. I think we will just investigate. So, investigating uh, 5 versus 2. Minus 3, so we grab that clue also. And uh, at the end of the uh, turn, we'll grab a resource and also a card. We get Intel Report. Then we go to upkeep. We ready. Yeah, we could have used hiking boots here, but I don't feel like doing that. And we'll draw two cards at the end of the round. And we have to resolve the take a little card. Take one damage and place this to the bottom, but we'll take two damage because of that. That hurts. And we have to discard Leo the Duke Luca. And then we gain one resource, so we have resources and clues, so grab that clue next. And just to check, uh, we have to go here, uh, discard cards and clues to activate it, so I think that will be our goal for next round. So, that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom, 3 of 5, and count card is. Uh, walk, walk, walk. Uh, so, Revelation, find the giant albino penguin enemy farthest from you. You must either move it to a location or place one doom on it. If there are no giant albino penguins in play, so it's a deck and discard pile for a giant albino penguin. Draw it and shuffle the encounter deck. So, we'll have to search for the penguin. Here it is, and draw it. I'll just shuffle the encounter deck. And uh, let's see. 
only seen this in the one scenario before, so I have to reread it. So the giant albino penguin is 2, 5, 3, health 2, evade, aloof creature as an additional cost for you to enter or leave this enemy's location, you must spend one action. So uh, we'll mark it as aloof over here. Just harasses us. But that's okay. First action. We'll spend the resources and uh, let's see. So uh, we have to spend one clue and per investigator. Three resources per investigator. And uh, Take control of the rune. I'll place the control runes over here. Then I will double move or, or uh, spend an extra resource to move. So I'll move. Over here. Let's try to keep it as short. Well, uh, we could move like one, two, three, or, and reveal those locations, which actually sounds better. So I uh, will move over here to reveal this. This is the sculptured crypt. So four shroud, zero clues. After sculptured crypt is revealed, place the dormant seal on it. Test uh, intellect two to decipher the alien script. If you succeed, investigate the sculptured crypt. May spend one clues for you for you to take control of the seal on it. So uh, that is one location to uh, activate uh, something. And uh, I think for this round, I. Because we need to discard two cards here, I'm grabbing one card with Montrey's ability. He's calling in favors. Then we'll go to upkeep. Uh, no enemy actions. Upkeep. We'll uh, draw two cards. I'll grab the magnifying glass. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another doom, so four of five. Um, encounter card for this turn is Nebulous Miasma. Attach your location when you end your turn at that last location. It's card to control with sanity. Take one direct four at the end of the round. Discard this. I'm not staying here, so I'm just discarding this because we are just moving away. So, first action we will. Move over here, reveal this one, and it is a uh, glacial grotto. So, after glacial grotto is revealed, place the dormant uh, that seal on it. Test uh, strength 2 to shatter the eyes if you succeed. Invest in the rest. Glacial grotto may spend one clues as proof for you to take control of the seal on it. So, this is a harder one for us to get because our strength is not that great. And it is that seal, so it's this one. And uh, then we'll just move over, over here so we can activate that clue. And last action, we'll just activate that. Oh, let's put that into play before that. So, we have to spend one clue per investigator and discard two cards. Uh, it's not random, so I think that one and uh, breaking and entering. No. Uh, Intel report. Discard those and this, and we get to activate this one. And that is our whole turn. No enemies will go to upkeep. Uh, we moved two, so we actually get a card, another 13, and one resource with Monterey's ability. Then we get two cards with force learning. I'll have to pick one of the field works, and uh, we gain one resource. So 
That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had a doom, so the agenda advances. Let's see what happens. Uh, so let's see. Uh, unknowable end. So fluff text and read the scenario in the loot. The final straw in the campaign guide. And let's see. I'm just glazing over it. What happens? And uh, okay. So I need to pick uh, the uh, expedition members that have not been crossed out or have a check mark next to them. So. These are the surviving members. Shuffle. Pick one at random. So, because Cookie is upgraded, uh, I think uh, we exclude Cookie. And we fight Take find uh, Takada Hiroko. Let's see what that means. So, um,. Next, we need to check if the victim is Takada Hiroko. We check that if Elijah Ezekbuck is alive. Well, Elijah is dead, so otherwise, in the expedition team section, cross off Takada Hiroko. If she was in play, she is defeated and removed from the game. So, Takada is uh, dead also. Well, that was pretty simple. Of course, there's a lot of fluff text here, but I'm not reading those. To save a bit of time, then we apparently just keep playing. Yeah. Okay, so something horrible happened to Takara. And the next uh, we have six uh, Doom and the same force ability. We uh, have two activated seals, we <laughs> end the game. So we won't be doing that. So uh, we still have to resolve the little space to the end. So we get an encounter car, and it is ancient evil. So we'll add another two here. Okay, uh, first action, we'll move to here. Second action, we'll place the activated seal here to get rid of it. Won't, don't want to go nuclear on on the world. That so that is two actions, and uh, let's think where do we want to go. I think I'm I'm using the Eon chart. Make a free move, and we'll move over here because there is a clue here, so we can investigate. So a tree shroud, one clue. We have our investigate. Uh, intellect of six, six versus three, and uh, yeah, six versus three. So we are able to succeed. We'll grab this clue, then we get to activate the hiking boots. We'll move over here. So, geothermal vent, force route one clue if you control us that the specific seal. Let's see. So, we can get the seal from there. Oh, let's check. Uh, we have the wrong seal here. Should be this one. Okay. Correct that. So, test the uh, strength tree if you succeed in investigator. Geometer of when spend one close group to activate the seal, then remove one pro, uh, cross token from the back. There's one clue here. And, uh, hmm. I think I. Yeah, I have to investigate. So six versus four. Zero. We'll grab this clue. Last action. Let's move over here, and it is the subnautical sp sprawl, two shroud, two clues, read the modifier for the first uh, 
cross token revealed during each skill test at the, this location as minus three and instead of minus one. Uh, limit once per round. And that is all we can do. So we uh, get a card, survey the area, one resource. Then we get two cards with force learning. Uh, first we ready everything. Two cards. Uh, we get the uh, Bastian Barga and Trusty Bull with. I'm thinking we need the uh, cash for uh, some cards, or actually, we're set up with the resources, so we'll grab the Bull Whip. And that is a fast card, so I'm just playing it as fast action. Now, well, we have to do the next turn, but that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Oh yeah, uh, we also get one resource at the end of the round. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a Doom. Encounter Cardis. Another Blasphemous Vision. So we shuffle another. Take a little card here. To our deck. And now we resolve each take a little card we draw three times. So this might be really painful if we hit the wrong Take a little cards, and there are a bunch in the deck. So that is the Mythos Face. Mm. That should not be a resource, but a clue. So, mm. I'll play Fieldwork down. Then, I don't think we need these clues here, so I will just uh, move, uh, I'll use the Eon chart to move freely. Yeah, uh, we'll play the pull whip also, as a fast action. Then, uh, we'll use the Eon chart for the last time to move, we'll move the outer sphere over here. A vaulted corridor. Uh, uh, we really don't need the clue here either, but we'll have to investigate. So we'll investigate six versus three with the young charge. Minus four. We don't fail by three or more, but we fail, so that is that. Then uh, we'll keep moving. So we'll just. Move over here. Uh, we could have used the field work, but I think I'll use it for the next location. Uh, protoplasmic pool, four shroud, one clue. If you control uh, that seal, test agility if you succeed. Investigate the rest of the protoplasmic pool, spend one clue group uh, to activate the seal, and deal two damage to each enemy play. Okay. I'll keep on moving. I'll move over here. Should I grab the clue? No, I'll just move. So, under the altar, after under the altar is revealed, place the dormant uh, this seal on it. So, uh, test uh, willpower to break the ancient war. If you succeed, investigate that the under the altar may spend one clue group for the control of the. Okay. So, uh, unfortunately, we can't do that this turn, but I'll do it maybe next turn. And do we want to maybe move that over here. It's easier, so I'll use uh, Gene to move this clue over here. And uh, I'll actually shortcut move over here. So, Icarladen Tunnels, uh, after Icarladen Tunnels is revealed, place a dormant seal on it and then test 
agility to, to transfer the icor if you succeed. Investigators at the icor ladder tunnels may spend one plus fruit to take control of this. So I actually I'm more able to get this one. And uh, this match, so we need to get back here to activate it. So no enemy actions will go to upkeep. Be ready up. Oh yeah, uh, we also get one card and one resource with Jack's ability. Then we get two cards. I'll actually grab the I've got a plan. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We had another Doom. And counter card for this turn is Wak Wak. Okay, so uh, this enemy moves to our location. Let's check. Okay. Doesn't help us. But yeah, that is the Mythospace done. Uh, you just uh, I've got to plan this enemy. Mm. It's not bothering us that much, so we'll. Um, oh yeah, uh, this location has this one, so we'll do the agility test here. Testing six versus. Uh, seven versus two. Uh, tablet is minus three. If you fail, draw the top card of the Galilee deck. We don't fail. We grab this. And we have to spend one clue to get it. Then we will move. So that takes two actions. So we'll. Uh, what is the shortest way? It is the outer side. So we'll move there. And that is the, our turn. Don't have any. Oh, actually, yeah, we can't play this yet. Okay, so no enemy actions. We'll go to upkeep. We draw up. Uh, we moved one, so I'll grab a, a resource with Jack's ability. And then we go to the upkeep, so we draw two cards, I'll pick the Intel report, I think we don't need the lock picks anymore, and we gain one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add another Doom, 4 of 6, and counter card is Roots of the Earth, uh, we'll test the agility 2, and we are, uh, it is a uh, agility 4 test because we are two locations away from the center. Now we are three locations, so it's a uh, test of five, so I think I'm committing Jin. That's okay. So we are seven versus five. Cross token. So, 7 versus 6, and uh, Skull is minus 1, there are no ancient 1 enemies here, so we succeed. So that is that. Um, first action, we will move over here. Uh, well, I'll just keep this here now. Now, uh, second action will activate this location or try to activate the seal here. We are testing uh, agility 3 versus 6, uh, 6 versus 3, so zero. Uh, we'll activate this, spend one clue, then uh, we get to deal two damage to his enemy in play, so that penguin there gets zapped for two. Better put it over here, and then uh, we have one more action. So we'll move over here. Next turn we can move there, and 
uh, gunk that seal over there. So we are two locations away. So I'll get a card, lone wolf, a bit late, and red sauce. Then we go to upkeep, two cards. I'll take the unexpected courage and a resource. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add another doom. Five of six. And counter card is ancient evils. Six of six. So we advance. That was an unfortunate pull. But it is what it is. So. Um, Uncontrollable power, uh, check the seal control by each investigator. Uh, we have uh, that seal, so that the investigator who controls the seal loses one action. Who instead is the seal is activated, so we lose two actions and we can't do anything about it. Okay, well, that slows us down quite a bit. And that was the ancient evil, so we resolved the middle space fully. Now we have six. Uh, threshold on the last act or agenda actually oh yeah hmm. I have forgotten to do this so I'll just advance this now so let's see uh, we placed that seal so we gained three resources so I'll just add those three resources a bit late but it is what it is so let's see uh, place as many active seals as you can to get up the car before whether it is inside escapes. All five seals have been placed at advance. I think we are not getting all, all the five. But yeah, that was the middle space and uh, lately <laughs> resolved advancement of the act. Uh, we only have one action, so I will move here and that is our turn. Uh, we'll draw a card and it is a Teke Lily. Take one damage times three. That is nasty. I will place all here. So we have taken five damage with Jack. That is, or actually, I'll place one on Jean Bird. Uh, so we get to the damage somewhere else. And uh, then we also gain one resource with Jack. No, we don't. Then, uh, force learning, we'll grab uh, scout ahead, we actually could have played scout ahead here, but it is what it is, and we can one resource, and that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. We add a doom, encounter card is, miasmatic torment, if you control a partner asset, exhaust them, and attach miasmatic torment to them, otherwise miasmatic torment gets search. Attach asset cannot ready. At the end of your turn, attach asset takes one damage or one horror. Test uh, intellect three if you see discard as torment. So, I think we are running out of time. So, I think I'm just moving, dunking this seal here and resigning. And that will be our turn. Let's see. It. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we actually. Discard one card. Okay. So, uh, quick turn. We'll move. We'll dunk this here. And we will resign. Uh, this is because I really don't want to get this guy hurt. And uh, these are really painful. We have already taken five damage. So, if we hit another um, damage dealing uh, uh, Tekelili card, we are getting quite punished by that, so maybe better to uh, seal two, get two seals activated here and resign and go to part two and see what happens there. So let's see, uh, we are resigned. Let's see. So we don't get to advance that one. And on hindsight, uh, we uh, the, the two uh, seals needed combat or willpower, and we are really bad at those, so it would be really tough to 
uh, get those done in a couple of turns. So better do this. So we, uh, uh, if no resolution was reached, uh, we proceed to resolution two. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value of each card in victory display. Each investigator earns one bonus experience for each activated seal in play, so we get two experience. Uh, we didn't take any damage on anything. And we proceed to checkpoint three, the other side. Uh, the other side one. Uh, we will continue the game uh, later, so we will go to go to other side three. So the heart of madness section of the camp log under the seals place draw each activated seal that was on the gate of Hita when the game end. You call when the game ended. Okay, so we need to draw them. Okay, I think to make something else. Uh, in the heart of the madness section of the camp and log under the seals, recover, draw each seal that was controlled by an investigator, then we don't control any. Clean up the game as normal. When you are ready to play again, begin the heart of the madness part 2. So, we have three experience. I will uh, probably just upgrade our charisma or something to the deck and uh, proceed to the next scenario. But that was the... Uh, Heart of Madness Part 1. We managed to get a couple of experience, so we have three, so we can upgrade the deck a bit before the last scenario of the campaign. Hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.